Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. Welcome to another card making video. Recently on my YouTube channel, I made this super fun shaker card using the beards and hats from the Man with the Beard stamp set. And I had die cut a bunch of these pieces and just had them on my desk and colored them in and they were all ready to go to make another card. So I got busy stamping. I die cut the Mary mini cover plate out. You can see that in the upper right hand corner there. And then I needed to finish off the sentiments. So I grabbed my holiday mix sentiment set. It has really great mix and match sentiments for the holidays. It's gonna be a great staple for your stash. And I pulled out this gorgeous script Christmas. I stamped it in wow embossing ink on black and poured the white embossing powder over and heat set it. Gives it a great um, kind of upscale look with that white embossing on black. Next, I'm just gonna take the letters out of the Mary Mini cover plate. I also die cut that with patterned paper. It's skylight with some white polka dots on there. And then I'm grabbing some cut and stick paper. Sorry, I'm a little bit off screen here. I apologize for that. Uh, whoops. <laughs> so cut and stick paper basically turns any die cut into a sticker. So you take one side off, apply it to your die cut, and then you can see where the Mary is open. It's sticky. So I'm just going to lay the letters right in there. And then a little bit later, I'm going to peel that backing off. And like I said, it's a sticker. So it's just going to stick right onto my card front and I won't need extra adhesive. So I'm just placing all of the letters right down in there like a little puzzle. I'm just giving a little press on the back to make sure those letters really stuck in there really well. And then I'm gonna take that Christmas that was embossed and just do a little bit of dimensional adhesive to pop it up and make it um, just a little bit more interesting. And I'm gonna pop that right underneath the Mary. Then I'm taking one of my Santa hats, adding some more dimensional adhesive, and I'm gonna pop it right up on top of that Y. Isn't that so cute? I am obsessed with these beards and hats. I just want to put them on every single thing. <laughs> so I wanted a pattern layer behind the Mary mini cover plate. So I grabbed my Patterns and Pine paper pack <laughs> and I chose the forest uh, pattern. I thought that was really cute. And then I took the frame uh, the Mary Mini label comes with an outer frame around it. So I die cut both of those through the same creating a frame. And then I just did direct to paper and colored that with sage ink. And then I did the embossing ink over the top. And then I'm grabbing my sage embossing glitter. So this is a chunky powder. So it has... Um, the powder and it has chunky glitter in it and it's really gorgeous. It gives a really cool mottled or marbled effect, effect. but you got to be gentle with it because it has big chunks in it and they will blow off if you're not careful. So I always start either heating from underneath or I start a little bit far away and then get it to start melting and pulling those bigger chunks in and then I go in closer to my project. So I think this is going to give a really cool effect here um, with that gorgeous gorgeous glittery frame. And then I'm just pulling that uh, cut and stick paper off and there it is. And as I was looking at this, I thought, you know, I don't have any skylight that is the patterned paper in the background. So I wasn't sure if I loved that. So I did some rockin' red letters and I wanted you guys to decide. Do you guys like the skylight patterned paper Mary or do you like the rockin' red Mary? Leave me a comment below in the description or in the comment section on YouTube and let me know which is your favorite. Do you like the contrast of skylight or you like that pop of red? Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you will subscribe if you're new and I'll see you again soon.